EG being able to find the the proper fights when you always have to worry about power and such. Maybe getting a little greedy here. He came back out on low health to get that ward down. The block from Jerax and Crit. He's gone. Nice. That's first blood for the roaming Ricky. A nice bit of gold in there. Straight up for the roaming support. I'll turn around, give up a few bunches back to Jerax. Just roll across from Crit. That's the dust. They'll look now to chase down Jerax on the Ricky. He's going to try for the TP out. Oh. He won't make it though. As EG are able to bring him down, and RTZ gets the final touch onto him, so money into the pocket of the Morphling. Man, that was so close. Mid lane, Anna and Fly trying to look for a gone to mail. He's yet to skill the timber chain. He has got two He's points in that aura. Four stacks of the poison, though, indeed. That's going to be a hell of a punch. Yeah, Make that good. five. Fly cleans him up. So a kill happens top, but again, OG quick to move in, though. The, uh, the Morphling, so we can get a range to wait for him, and he just dies, but. You know, middle lane too, the matchup, it's pretty freaking even. I would have expected actually that. Oh, 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 they got him. See you later. Yeah, they chased him down. Actually, didn't use the skewer there. That was an initiation from Crit. Looks like he might have assumed that they would have lost vision. Yeah, but, maybe he uh, was worried about kind of clearing the tree line. Yeah. I mean, it was very close. It was li yeah, literally the last touch did it. They didn't have that last hit. S4 could have survived for it. Bottom lane. lane as well. Yeah, going in straight away onto Grip. He hangs around, the smoke screen's there, and OG. Find themselves the Earth Spirit, and they should find themselves this tier one as well. Very hard for the side of EG to come in and stop. You know, no tail getting some levels. Oh, he's, he's looking for the root. He, he wants this Omni. He's found Crit. Crit's going to go for the roll away, but in fact, yeah, they get the slashes off. One onto Zai, two onto Crit now with the Blade Fury to follow through. At the same time, Samel is trying to bring Jarax down low. No tail. He could be the first to fall. He is incredibly low. Drops the healing ward out. Trying to walk down with a dunk. It's there from Universe. They find the kill onto No Tail. They did lose Crit for it. But they'll take that trade, especially if they can find more. Zai tethering onto Universe. He's continued to chase, and Universe looking to continue the caliber of gameplay he was able to show us in game two. Fly's going to pull Jax. Looking to pick up Zai. Sun strike from Anna is there. Universe hasn't got the call, but Crit, can he do it? Yes, he can. The dunk from Universe to finish it off, and Universe picks himself up another in that engagement. All things. Is he going to try something in? Right to be spot flies. Just walks up to him. Chris. Oh, no. He's been caught out and instantly the D-Ward happens. He just kind of hangs around a little bit too long there next to the Ancients. And flies onto S4. RTZ and Zai. See so if they're able to do anything. s is coming pretty far out. He has a skewer and he has a TP. Got to be careful though. RTZ, of course, has that adaptive strike. So S4, I don't think there's any way he can get out of this one and he can't. Arteezy and Zai punishing the Magnus for his positioning there. Take the kill, and no no tell. I have some mail. Anything similar here in game three. Eyes onto Anna, it would be a nice pick. He's got a couple of Forge Spirits around him. That will help for the procs. Universe straight in. They've got him. Everyone on the side of EG coming through to finish it off, and they want to look for more. Samel comes across. They'll take down Fly. Zai just with the dust, just in case Jarex was hiding around. Is it going to be the case? But two pick offs for EG. Uh, the call. The call. Oh no, the small. Oh! The Jarrett! Oh, there we go! But boy, did he make them work for it. Man, Jarrett's that there. Insane. We can see Jarrett. He's got vision on to crit. Backup's coming, crit. Ah, he's in a lot of trouble there. He is in a lot of trouble. No way he gets out of this one. OG with the four-man beatdown. Surrounding the Earth Spirit, taking him out. S4. He's got one. Bloodstone done on Samael. Bottom lane, bit of a fight coming through. They're looking towards Universe. Bringing the relocate though, EG. Samael turning across, looking for Jerex. He's got the tricks of the trade to juke it out. No tail though. Trying to man fight against Samael. The, oh, the drive by from Artor taking down Jerex. Looks like the rest of OG should be able to get out only just. Universe nearly had call back off cooldown to catch out Fly. Top lane, S4, eyeing up Zai. Oh! No TP for you, Sunny Jim. As S4 rips Zai to shreds. I want to try and do something. S4 has the RP again. See what they can do. Eyes onto some mail. Do you want to blow the RP for this? Yes, oh, he nice. does. Everything being thrown out onto the tip. He can't deny himself. Actually, tries to go for the escape, so they do get the kill. Doesn't end up denying himself, but EG, they want to fight back into this one. Smoke. Got Fly. Jerax making it half for EG to chase. They're still looking for Fly. Should be able to get the Shadow Demon. It's a Shadow Demon for a Timber Saw. Not really the trade that EG need. E-Blade is done for Arteezy though, so these fights are going to become even harder for OG as 
RTZ has that potential to just nuke down one of their heroes at the start of each engagement. Yeah, that's the... It's 19 minutes in and he has Lincoln Z-Blade. Good lord, that is insanely hard. Universe gets the core test for the E plate. This is four from Arteezy. It's not quite enough damage with the adaptive strike though. Oh, and the burst from Samael it is though. S4 out of the game for 40 seconds. EG. Yeah. Oh my god. And he gets <laughs> I mean, he's going to die for it. <laughs> Whatever, that's a, that's a swag play. We that's, did that, that's a hashtag worth. Yep. He did the fact that. They haven't been winning the engagements, but maybe they just hold them apart. Oh, Universe! He's got the claw! Oh, S4! With the RP and the Omnis are falling through, but the heals is going to keep EG alive, and they're back. They're going to be the ones to look to take the fight. They managed to find S4. It was a pretty RP. It wasn't quite enough to straight up win them the fight at the start. Now Universe coming in with the call on to fly. No tails falling as well on the side of it all. Three kills for EG. He tried his best there with that RP, but the like, that's the whole point of, of getting the, the mag and the juggernaut combo. Unfortunately, no tail really only, he only has drums oh, fans. Oh, universe, he's found another universe axe making an absolute impact this series. Games, of course, whilst this is happening, they're just managing to get so much more done and keep themselves on top. And universe, he's caught out, and Azai brings in RTZ. RTZ and Azai weren't even needed. Universe solo killing the invoker. The bottom round. It's still, it's going to take a bit of time for you to do it. Where's the opening? Watch S4, watch S4. There's two in there. There's the RP. Is the Spoke of Azai? He's forced out. He's going to live. The Omni coming through. It's actually just bouncing around Roshan. They've lost S4. They're going to find the kill, but Jugs able to deny. Oh, he actually denied it himself. I guess he didn't have a slot for it. But OG now. They've lost one. Are they going to lose anything else? Universe trying to chase. Gets himself forced in. Gets the call onto No Tail. No Tail's down as well. EG, they've found three. Oh, the They're looking for more as well. Anna caught out. Bursted down by RTZ, it's four dead on OG, the last remaining survivor being Jerax, but he himself, can he get out? He goes for the TP, they will manage to escape, but OG, as we saw just then, they just couldn't do it. The, the RP looked good, but I believe... Hey, 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 S4, going for the skewer. I'm just trying to play with EG, keep them off the tower. Oh, okay. E-blade, boys. Looking to take their set of ranks on this bottom lane. Can they do anything about it? S4 20 seconds until the RP. Samel is going to start trying to play with S4. Now he, S4 hasn't got the skewer. S4! He's going to go down! He's out! And now with the call cool onto No Tail. There's your buyback from S4. Tricks the trade from Jerax. They're managing to push them back. And in fact, EG unable at the moment to finish off the ranks. So OG are holding. Magnetize is going to be annoying for S4. He wants to try and look for the Binkin. Maybe oh, this yeah. is it though. But no. No buyback. Anna is out for the count. They're smoking up. They've got an Omni. They've oh, got an RP. S4 needs something huge here. He goes in, but he only catches Zai. It's not the RP that he needed. This buyback's coming out, but S4's down and out. They've lost Jerax. They're potentially going to lose No Tail. He comes out with the Omni Sash. He will kill Zai. Right, bringing these guys though as well. Arteezy tries to go for the nuke, but no tail in time with the blade few backs off. They're facing them down. Samael looking at no tail. Anna playing around with him. Now managing to keep EG off these racks, but it's incredibly costly. Finally, the range racks go down. Universe jumps in. The calls there on to fly. The adaptive strike from Arteezy brings him down once more. And the racks will fall. Anna looking at Samael. Tells there as well. Cold snap. Holding the timber chain. So Mail's down. Hey, it's actually going to suicide here. Jerax chasing for more. So they've lost their axe. But OG. Get a jump on him with the silence. They could kill him. RTZ maybe being a little greedy. And there we have it. The greed could cost him his life. And in fact, it will. RTZ's greed. Getting punished heavily there. He's down for 75. OG, can they get themselves anything more? Oh, he's there with a the backup. The mini relocate to the side, keeping some mail alive. And now the turnaround universe. Tries to jump in with the initiation. Gets the call up onto No Tail. S4 shoving himself back. Has an RP. But the battle hunger is going to make it very hard for him to re initiate. No Tail caught out. The dunks there. Universe godlike. They've taken down No Tail. He has no buyback. S4. He needs a miraculous RP. But he just can't seem to find the opening for it. Maybe now. But oh, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. And S4, he just has to get himself out.
And that itself might not be possible. Skewer and Blink still on cooldown. They've caught out the Magnus. EG, they'll find themselves the team wipe. Jerex has a buyback available, but everyone else does not have that luxury to...